What's up, Everyday Blades? Well, as you can see, we got a monster here. Um, this is the most expensive knife I've ever bought by by a long shot. Um, I didn't pay retail price for it. I got I actually got a pretty good deal on it, but even a even a pretty good deal on it is um, make you swallow hard a couple of times. But I'm gonna set the cost aside for a minute. We're gonna talk about the knife. Uh, first, this is a Borka Tony Marfion collaboration. Tony Marfion, in my opinion, is king of the hill when it comes to presentation. And this is a Pelican 1120 Pelican case. And this is this is how it comes when you first get it. Everything fits perfectly. I don't really know what the music theme, how it ties in, but, um, and also the only other thing that I would have changed is the only color I found these in was in green. I think I did see a titanium. They may have other colors. There's not a lot of information about these. You're not just going to Google and find out tons of information on these. I don't think there's total of five YouTube videos about them, and most of them are not reviews. They're just showing the knife. So this is the... Marfion Customs Borka Blades SB DP. I do know that the DP stands for drop point, and they have a spear point, and they have a um, tanto. Uh, I don't know if they, I just know those letters uh, designate the blade. So this is G10, green G10. It's got a little bit of my oil on it, I've been carrying it today over titanium frame lock with a big old fat um, drop point blade. I put an edge on it. It's got a ridiculously sharp edge on it. But <clears throat> so the reason I bought this knife is, is solely because of its looks. Uh, when I first saw this knife a long time ago, I wanted it. So I looked for anything close to it. I bought other knives that were similar to it. Uh, I bought one that was even a clone and didn't know it and got rid of that, scrapped it for parts. And finally a deal came along where I could trade to get this. <clears throat> so it worked out to where, because there's no way I was paying retail price. I just, I just couldn't. It's my, my comfort zone is about $1,000, $1,200. I'm not even super comfortable with that. It has to be a pretty damn amazing knife. Um, but that, that's about my limit. Um, these retail for, I believe, $3,600. You heard me. $3,600. That's, that's insane to me. I mean, that's, I'm not even one to judge price. I'm the last person to judge price, but you do get more with it than just a knife. Like this, this coin right here sells on the secondary, the coin that comes with it. Let me rephrase that. This is not the coin that comes with it. The coin that comes with it is very similar to this. This coin right here is worth a couple of hundred dollars on its own, but the one that comes with it has a tritium vial here and here, and it sells for about four hundred and fifty to five hundred dollars. So that's a big part of the knife there. This is a I forget the name of the company that makes these, but these are awesome. This is a titanium PVD coated uh, poker chip. Anyway, that's that's a big chunk of the value, and then the Pelican case and all the engraving and the foam and everything uh foam in, a lot of the foam inserts i saw that weren't even custom like this were almost a hundred dollars so the, the money starts to add up it doesn't get where i th think it ought to be but uh anyway on my journey to find a, a knife like this and you say well, why would you pay so much money for that and i still paid a lot i just didn't pay anywhere near uh, retail um, because I love this design. I think the design is perfect. I think this is the perfect knife design. Some people might say it's plain or whatever, but it's not plain to me. It's, uh, I'm a, I'm a little bit of a plain guy, but I think that is the perfect knife design. I love that big fat blade, hollow grind. It's just, it's just, a, when I think of a great knife, that's what I think of. And to get this knife, you have to pay those prices. That's just, just one thing they have. They come up with a great design and they command a, a bunch of money for it. And that's what you're going to pay if you want it. So 
anyway, the lock bar pressure is just perfect. I mean, you, as you can imagine, everything on this knife is 100. I mean, it, there's, there's zero, zero issues. I'm not going to be able to point out anything on this knife that there's something wrong because it was made by two legendary knife makers. It's a custom, it's a full custom knife. Huge, it's probably a T25 pivot and then probably T8s back here. I really like the clip. Some people don't like the badging on the clip. I do, I think it's cool. And there's not, there's one thing that's really cool about the knife. <clears throat> this is a, this one also has a tritium insert. The knife has a tritium insert. We've tried this before and it doesn't work, but anyway, it glows. When the lights are off, it glows. Let's see if we can shut the studio lights down real quick. There we go. All right, going back up. <clears throat> so I want to check some dimensions and weights on it. Four. Not bad. Okay, let's check the weight. Being careful not to scratch her up. 3.25. Almost four and a half inch. Really good purchase on the handle. You can see I got extra large glove hands and there's still room to spare. It gives me a lot of room to move around on this knife. And it just, it's just the perfect design to me. I mean, I, I love it. I didn't even know about the tritium insert until I got it. And I've been finger banging it and slobbering all over it for a couple of days. I've carried it today and man, I just, I'm, I'm very pleased with it. I'm, I'm not, I'm not upset that I spent a bunch of money on this knife. I'm, I'm glad that I did. And, and it doesn't hurt so bad when you can trade a knife you bought a long time ago for it. You know what I mean? It takes a huge part of the blowout. It's not just a direct hit to your bank account. So, uh, am I gonna recommend this knife to anybody? No, no. Not unless you can just afford to buy it and it just doesn't, uh, doesn't bother you. I mean, if you spend that kind of money regularly on things, yeah, I would absolutely. If you can afford it, I'd absolutely recommend this knife. It's awesome. Um, if I were to just look at it as just a knife and take away the Marfion Borka uh, lineage, I mean, you're telling there's no way that knife's worth over $3,000. But when you add that in and the fact that you can't get this knife design through any other, there's no collaborations. Their collaboration is the only collaboration. I, guarantee, I can almost guarantee you they never will have a collaboration. They don't need to because as fast as they make these, they sell them. And that's just the way it is. There's some knives that will always be expensive, and this is one of them. And this is one of the cheaper variants. This is, I think, the cheapest. They go up to ten thousand, more than that. I mean, ten thousand is not even nowhere near the highest. So um, they got one with abalone, and I think I saw it was nine thousand nine hundred dollars. So they get way on up there. So this is not even this is not even out of hand. This is entry level budget stuff for them. This is big boy territory. And I'm not a big boy, so all I can do is get the entry level on the secondary. But I'm I'm glad that I did. I really like the knife. Feels really good in hand. So cut it up against the BM2 and the Bench Made Griptilian. It's just a perfect size knife, man. It falls falls right in there. So, if uh, if you make really great money and you can afford this without batting an eye, I would absolutely re refer you to this. Um, if you have, you know, a couple of really expensive knives, you can trade for it and it won't bother you. I'd still recommend it. I mean, I'm, I think all of us are kind of chasing that perfect knife. This is the nicest knife I own, uh, uh, by far. I mean, there's, it's, it's just every detail about it is perfect. 
it, it might be a slab of G10 here, but don't let it fool you. It's, this knife is the fit and finish is off the charts. And of course, this, I mean, it's even dumb to even check the centering, but it's dead perfect. Awesome, awesome blade. It's not super thin behind the edge, but it's 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 thinish behind the edge. And I put a razor sharp edge on it, man. It will slice now. All right, guys, that's it. This is the uh, Marfion Borka SBDP collaboration, and uh, glad to have it in my collection. Comes with the titanium poker chip this one comes with the the normal chip supposed to be in here has the two tritium inserts in there but a lot of them were sold when they first got these to help with the you know, the blow of the cost of this thing so and they don't all come in special edition boxes like this a lot of them come in the marfi on pouches this one is just the, that certain model that did so it makes you feel a little bit better about <laughs> spending that big money <laughs> There it is. Guys, thanks for watching. God bless you and your family. Say a prayer for our country. Good night.